Okay. The Tilta basic ring grip. Do you need one? Is it overhyped? Does it look like an oversized filmmaking onion ring? Okay, other than the fact that this thing looks severely cool, I want to talk about what attracted me so much to the Tilta ring grip, as well as why it might be an attractive offering for you as well. So, first thing is when you're in videography, you often buy equipment that aids in how long, as well as how well you can do certain shots. That being said, I have a monitor that I can't live without, a shotgun microphone, an external battery, the gimbal itself, and any other accessories that I would want to put on this thing. Now that left me with a decision to make. If I wanted to use the RS2 gimbal alone and I wanted to be able to put the monitor, the external battery, and all the other bells and whistles that I have on this thing, the shotgun mic and all the things, it would make one atrocious looking gimbal if I wanted to use all of those things without a ring grip. Now I'm the type of person that wants to get rid of any creative friction whatsoever that inhibits me from going out and getting the shots that I want to get. If I'm constantly worried about swapping out monitor batteries or like changing the batteries on my ZV-E10 and like bringing 19 in my backpack and swapping them out every 45 minutes, that gets so tedious. I found that before I was using an external battery or just the ring grip in general, I was making sprints back and forth between me and my camera bag, getting different lenses, different equipment to aid in different shots that I was doing and I didn't have anything that was really like all encompassing. Now this is actually what drew me to the grip, is because I'm able to mount this to the V-mount battery plate that's propri pr proprietary to Tilta, after a full day of shooting, I rarely see my battery that's usually attached to this, um, currently being in use right now, go below 75%. I cannot tell you the headache that it alleviates knowing that I don't have 19 different devices hooked to this giant grip that I don't have to worry about each and every battery level as I'm trying to film. Now let's talk about another really big plus. You have the option to get the Tilta remote control handle thingy dilly baba thing right here. Now please make note if you don't have a cinema camera. I have the Sony ZV-E10 and I figured out that it cannot talk to both a monitor as well as the gimbal at the same time. It just cannot transmit signal to both things. It makes it have like an aneurysm. The first thing, once you start to put accessories and crazy gadgets on this thing, it gets crazy heavy really quick. Count on back pain if you're holding this for any more than five minutes without the assistance of a ring grip backpack. Honestly, if I were you, I wouldn't even consider this purchase without the purchase of also getting an easy rig backpack, which to get the one that's rated appropriately for most people's rigs, it's gonna be about $1,000. And that's not even with the purchase of the ring grip. So really you're looking at like, 1300 something like that. Now, if you're like me and your camera can't talk to two devices and you don't have a backpack yet, count on yourself literally propping this up on your knee, holding the top handle and clicking the record button manually every single time you want to start a new shot. The next thing is if you get a lot of low shots and you're filming like cars and you're getting really close and like down like near the ground, this thing is not going to allow you to get super low just because of how the ring grip is structured. Now you do technically have the option to like detach the RS2 or whatever gimbal you're using, pop off the top handle, go and put it together and then like you can get all of your low shots, but then you have to detach the HDMI on your monitor if you're using one, if it's externally powered, you're gonna have to figure out your battery situation. It's kind of a headache if you wanna get shots that are like lower than this much from the ground. I don't know what unit of measurement this is. Now if you film in cars like a lot, so I was doing BTS the other day and I hopped into like the shotgun seat, right? And I'm like doing this. So I'm aiming like this way and I'm doing this and it's taking up like the entire compartment where you would like fit things and it's like hitting the roof. It is possible, but there's not a lot of room to move around. Now, in my opinion, if this entire ring grip was like six inches smaller, it would be like the perfect diameter. That's what she said. <laughs> It would be maneuverable, you could run around with it more, I think that it would be easier to handle, but I'm just being picky at this point. So here's the real question, is this thing for you? And my answer to you is maybe. If you're the type of videographer or creator that goes out there and they have like a monitor, an external battery, all of these accessories that you've like grown with and you really like don't want to separate yourself from, this thing's awesome. This thing's super good. It does have its cons, obviously, they're just really nitpicky and small, but Unless you're like a minimalist filmmaker or videographer that doesn't use a monitor, they just walk around with like literally their body in the lens all the time, this thing is going to annoy you really quick because you're probably gonna have to walk around with like a backpack constantly. Now, all around, if you have the budget, the advanced ring grip is going to be the better option for you. And you can go ahead and check out some other reviews 
um, on that, but this thing does come in significantly cheaper than the advanced ring grip does, and for all of my needs as a videographer, this thing has filled all of them. The only critique that like, if I could go back in time and fix, I would just get a different camera that could talk to both a monitor and the gimbal. Other than that, this thing's dang near perfect. And when I say perfect, I mean, if you know that you're going to be carrying a backpack everywhere that you go, and it's going to be heavy, and people are going to be looking at you, yes, it's awesome. But if you're trying to have a small footprint and be a minimalist creator, probably pass up on this.